Hey everyone, that's Pastor James uh, here in my office uh, to talk to you a little bit about uh, different ways that we can pray uh, daily. And I uh, just want to introduce to you uh, a way of praying daily called uh, the Divine Office, or sometimes the Daily Office, or the Liturgy of the Hours. Um, it's a very ancient way to pray uh, with all of God's people, or personally, uh, that I think is quite accessible, and, and it can be a helpful uh, helpful way uh, to, to pray. So if you're in a rut with your prayers and looking for maybe a new way to uh, spend time each day uh, in, in daily prayer, I uh, want to encourage you and, and, and recommend to you uh, to pray the Divine Office. Uh, so most of you are probably familiar with the Vespers service. Uh, it's a service that takes place in the late afternoon or early evening. Uh, we do those here at First Lutheran uh, during Lent and, and Advent now. Uh, it's a Vespers uh, worship service. Uh, but did you know that you can do Vespers uh, in your own personal uh, devotions as well? Uh, you can do Vespers, you can do Matins, uh, which is a morning prayer service. Uh, you can do uh, noonday uh, service. And you can also do Compline uh, at the close of the day, right before bedtime. Uh, you can do uh, Compline to complete uh, the day. So if you uh, are looking for new ways to pray, I just encourage uh, you to think about this, uh, the Divine uh, Office. So again, it's a very ancient uh, practice. It started probably in the synagogues on the time of the uh, uh, exile in, in Babylon when Jewish uh, people could not uh, go to the temple uh, to worship. And so they just started uh, introducing ways to worship uh, in smaller communities. And so beginning in the, in the synagogues, they would use the Psalms, which is the prayer book of God's people. It always has been, always will be, uh, as a way to, to pray uh, together. Well, the church, uh, the early church adopted that practice and used uh, the Psalms along with other scripture uh, to, to mark the day, to mark the different hours of the day. Uh, and so uh, in the morning, uh, they would have a morning uh, prayer time. Usually Psalm 95 was, was prayed in the morning. Oh, come, let us sing to the Lord. Uh, let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. That, that invitation to, to come together and sing uh, in Psalm 95. Uh, they would also uh, have a noonday uh, prayer, which I think is a wonderful time just to spend a few moments catching our breath, saying, what have we been doing uh, today? Lord, uh, help me uh, to reset this day. Uh, in the afternoon, um, I'm recording this in the late afternoons, about six o'clock before I head home. Wonderful time just to pray uh, Vespers, uh, to spend a few moments, again, resetting the day, giving thanks for the Lord's presence throughout the day. And then and lastly, uh, Compline, uh, right before going to sleep. Again, just to turn back to the Lord and say, where have I seen you today? Where have I maybe fallen short? Where have I been blessed? Uh, and to, to just to spend a few moments uh, kind of marking that uh, time of prayer. Uh, and so these are all uh, services that can be done uh, together in groups uh, and are often done in groups. Uh, if you go to a monastery, uh, you'll see monks uh, practicing these, uh, these prayer services together. But they can also be done personally and individually. And so uh, on my blog and now on this YouTube channel, I'm going to offer uh, matins, vespers, compline, and a noonday prayer service all for personal devotions, uh, just to give you uh, some resources uh, to to reboot your prayer life, if that's something that uh, you're interested in or in, in need of. Uh, and so I wanted just to offer this devotion to introduce to you the general practice uh, of the Divine Office. And uh, I will put this uh, on our YouTube channel where you will also be able to find uh, the other services that I'll walk us through uh, individually, uh, again, for, uh, for all of these different, uh, different prayer services. So if you're looking for new ways to spend a little time with God each day in prayer, I uh, commend to you uh, the divine office and I invite you to close with me uh, at this time with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we are grateful that we can come uh, to you throughout the day, each day. You are always uh, eager and ready to hear us as we pray and we thank you for that, uh, that great, great blessing and uh, we do pray that you would help us to mark our day uh, with you in prayer in whatever way that works for us. And if that be the divine office, Lord, uh, for those who are watching, may you bless them uh, as they turn to you uh, at different times in the day to spend a few moments 
with you in prayer. And I pray these things in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.